Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put a type of roof over this. Um, this is where I have my Jeep, and I'm going to kind of use this like almost like a paint booth. Not perfect, but outside, kind of well ventilated, and uh, just make sure I don't use any uh, urethane paint unless I'm uh, piping it in from some other place. But anyway, what I'm using on here is a tarp, sort of like the tarp that's over where my motorcycle storage place is, which is a extremely heavy tarp and these are two by six by ten and I'm gonna lay them over here and um, each one of these two by sixes is not actually six inches they're less than five inches so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a 22 inch space spacing between this beam and that beam so if I want to make this all solid I can and uh, put roofing over it and all that type of stuff. Probably roll roofing, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because this will be considered a temporary structure. And basically, it's like um, one of those type of carports you put up that has, um, what do you call it? Um, it's temporary, basically. It's, got, it's like a tarp, basically a tarp. So this is fencing. You can see there's uh, every two feet, there's a four by four. And they're into the ground two and a half feet with 160 pounds of concrete and there's a triple row header on the top with uh, two by fours so they're all tied together it's extremely strong this could probably handle 150 mile an hour winds easy especially if I put this top piece on it bracing it all up and, um, and it's gonna have the strongest tarp made so uh, that should be good enough and what I'm going to do is, is uh, drill the drill into uh, the wood here to make sure, you know, the nails don't split. I'm going to probably use, I don't know if I'm going to use three or four nails, but I'm going to basically drill into here first to make sure the wood doesn't split. These are a little old nail like this. These are big ass grip night rig nails. And uh, my little hammer like that. That'll hold it up. Okay, that side secured. And like I said, I'm gonna measure 22 inches between each one of these. Each one of these boards, even though they're nominally six inches wide, um, they're about just under five and a half inches. So if there's 22 inches, that's enough to put four boards in between it and I'll have, probably have like a sixteenth of an inch gap between them which would be pretty solid. So on this side I drilled three holes and I probably could have slid this up to the edge here and just nail these nails in so I don't split the wood. And of course, these are galvanized grip right nails. I'll probably paint over them, but even though they're going to have the uh, tarp over it. And the next thing is just to uh, measure out 22 inches on this side. And um, I'm going to move this into here, like so. Mark it. That needs to be moved in just a hair more. Same thing, drill it out so uh, when I hammer the nails in, the wood doesn't split. And same deal. So I'll be going along 
all down there and when I'm done we're gonna put um, two by fours in between here so this would be one flat piece piece of um, piece of wood where the tarp is gonna get nailed to with a uh, uh, two by two pressure treated holding the whole thing in and you notice this is on an angle the whole thing is on an angle so the, the water runoff will slope will run off of here because the one side is about six inches higher than the other side so the work the runoff will work pretty well and along the top here as uh, I start filling these in with the two by fours and most of them are filled in I got about seven more to do um, oh, and like that's gonna make one big flat piece of wood across the top here so it, the tarp is gonna lay on there and in this cardboard box here that's what the tarp is it's about 16 by 20 uh, it should overlap very well now to hold it on top there's metal grommets and what I'm gonna do is um, this is 2 by 2 pressure treated wood and I'm gonna drill through this after the paint dries on it and where the grommets are and there's gonna be a long screw going through the grommet and this is gonna go over the top to hold the tarp to hold it down and of course I'm using uh, this is 15 years solid stain it's good stuff and it's pressure treated wood so that's how that'll work um, I got a few more boards to put up there it was raining today and since this is highly braced up you could see how strong this damn thing is every two feet there's a four by four sunk in the ground with 160 pounds of concrete it's board on board fencing uh, it's three two by fours so this is four inches by six inches thick and then there's um actually it's eight inches thick if you take those in between spaces and a two by six is on top of it and then those two by sixes are tied into the other side here and that's these are it's all it's all braced up 50 different ways and you can see where my bike is at the corners are braced up with shelves and this thing is built you know what I, I think to blow over the houses before to blow over this damn thing so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to probably use it as like a dent puller too i got a dent here this is the only dent in my jeep and i'm not going to replace this fender you can see i was trying i had this like this for years and i just left it like this um but what i could do is i can use the ratchet puller put it in here with a washer behind it and attach it to this uh, the other side to this four by four post which is all tied in and uh it'll make a great dent puller <laughs> especially if i you know i got the frame tied up in here and i got a little dent the bumper here i could pull that out real easy um using this framework i have here too so but once I get this on, with the flooring that will go in here is going to be, um, I'm going to put um, red patio block and a thin layer of concrete under it. And i got to get it really even. And I'm going to go over this cement and get this real flattened out because it's really rough. I just got something in here, so I'm going to put the bike in here. It doesn't get dirty or anything like that. But I'm going to go over that cement and get it like really super smoothed out. And uh, that'll be it. That'll be it. So uh, just plenty of room to get the Jeep in here. And if you notice, you know, the Jeep isn't really jacked up. But even if it was jacked up a few more inches, if I parked it more to this side, it would still fit. No problem. So uh, that's how I'm going to do it. And uh, it's coming along just fine.